Hello, this is a very quick look at the Orsdom MO4 headphones. These are Bluetooth headphones, kind of turtle shell look to them. Along the top you've got some nice padding and this is quite soft and that just means that these are quite comfortable when you slip them on. Rather than fold down, the actual ear cups rotate and so you can lie them flat when you are traveling. It also makes it quite useful for showing you the measurements. So you can see the inner cup is about six centimeters and then the when you include the padding, the overall cup is about nine centimeters. So it should, should fit over most people's ears. You have controls on both sides. Uh, you've got a microphone, uh, the little LED light tells you what's going on in terms of the Bluetooth, power, volume up, volume down. And then on the other side, you've got the skip, play, pause. You also have the USB charging point. And this just uses a standard USB cable like you get with a mobile phone. And in case you need to use these without power, maybe if you're flying, you can use this adapter, this 3.5 AUX jack. So you get the charging cable with it and you also get a nice long lead for use with the AUX jack. So you simply plug one end into your headphones and plug the other end into your MP3 player, mobile phone, whatever it is you want to listen to and you can listen to your music. If you are using these on Bluetooth, you've got controls and really nicely, I don't know how clear it is, but you can see there's a little raised bit on the volume up, volume down and on the skip forwards and backwards. And that makes this very easy to control without actually having to take them off to see what buttons you're pressing. The headphones offer a decent volume and have pretty good sound quality. They offer a fairly good bass and fit snugly onto your head so that if you do happen to want to do a bit of dancing around for some reason, they don't move around that much. Now, they do leak a bit of sound. If you were stood behind me in a queue, this is what you'd hear. You might have also noticed the small flashing blue light that stays on for as long as these are powered. So overall for the very low cost these aren't a bad pair at all. It's really nice to see the input jack which means you can use these on a plane or unpowered if they do run out of power. They're fairly comfortable. I found them a little bit tight. They're not the most comfortable headphones I've tried at this price range but actually they do offer very good value for money. I think they look quite nice and they offer good sound quality. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.